So my theory with the whole crypto, and you tell me if you agree, I feel like they want Bitcoin to go up. They want Ethereum. To, they want these things to do well. And then at one point, they're just going to say, hey, we have our own USD coins and we're going to ban Ethereum or just make it do really bad. And, you know, people are going to have their money in crypto and they'll just shift it to like US dollar coin, like the official government coin. And then all your money's in crypto. You can never take it out. It's always governed. They always see what's happening. And that's like ultimate control. So here's how I see the future. And you're right. Someone could have, it could have been a government agency created Bitcoin. I mean, it started after the 2008 financial crisis. So maybe there was actually someone trying to do good. Be like, we need a decentralized monetary system. And they just took over. <laughs> or it could have been Putin, like some people say, or it could have been some government, whatever. No, I, and I, day, don't, and I don't mean Bitcoin necessarily as in Bitcoin itself. I just mean, I think maybe, yes, someone that actually wanted to beat the system made it. But obviously, the governments are not stupid. They see that and they take control of it. Like well, here's this. the beauty of Bitcoin. It was beautifully constructed that no single person got to really take a high stake position. So right now, if the government wants to try to take control of Bitcoin, they're just going to be upping the price and giving everyone else even more money. So they've definitely, that's why I think Bitcoin, like back in the day, I was thinking we could have, we could have seen under 10K Bitcoin like a few months ago. Because I was like, these governments want control over these currencies. They're, they're going to want to take Bitcoin to a certain level that then they can create a big stake in. So we could still see that. Who knows? You have to think like if these governments don't have control over that's that's why we saw 68 K Bitcoin yeah. in the last bull run, because all the hedge funds, sovereign funds, the governments, they FOMO'd in. They were like, damn, I, we can't let this. We need control. So they just FOMO'd in and then they basically nuked the markets. But I think Bitcoin is the last savior. I think Bitcoin is beautifully constructed yeah. in a way it is. It's proof of it's proof of work. So. It's not proof of stake like Ethereum now changed it. So proof of work consensus mechanism. Like if you own your coins, you own your coins. No one can pledge Bitcoins to the network and control it. They've already tried to, to create a new Bitcoin, whatever it is, and it's just hard for us. You can't mess with the networks. There's already been improvements. There's already been bugs already debugged, whatever it is. Now, Ethereum, on the other hand, is now proof of stake. So yeah. whoever pledges the most ETH coins, the network controls it. And why do you think the World Economic Forum is always pushing Ethereum? And what about all these other coins, Chainlink, all these random coins? They're all just scam Ponzi's at the end of the day. Yeah. So in my opinion, in the future, we will have the Swiss franc, Chinese yuan, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and a central bank digital currency. Yeah. The people that will be free are the people that are going to be able to get into things like Bitcoin. Maybe you have some of your money all over the place, but it doesn't matter what yeah. currency they decide to create. Like I'm going to have. No, and I, and I agree with what you say. Like That's what I think. I do think Bitcoin's going to do well. I think that's one of the only ones that'll do well, but I think the it's government's- still the test of time. Yeah, but I think the governments want it to do well because of these other, they want their, like you said, the central bank coin, whatever it's going to be, or the China. So I think for them, this does well. Great, everyone has their money in crypto and great, Bitcoin does well, but we'll force them to like try and put a bit of their money into our coins. They know they can't really stop it at this point because they've tried to, they, they banned Bitcoin mining in China. They, they, I think they banned Bitcoin outright in Nigeria and all that happened was it traded at a higher price. Yeah. Like a few months ago, Bitcoin was going for like 50 or 60K in Nigeria because you can't get it there. So people yeah. are paying a premium. So they could try to ban it and they just know that all it will do is make it more valuable. Yeah. So they kind of have to go along with the grain, but they also are planting seeds and trying to get people out and trying to get that big stake because let's be real who i mean mount uh the government sold like it was like ten thousand bitcoins or something a few months ago and, and crashed the market for like a week that like you can see the government yeah, i think they're just trying to take more control of it all right let's buy more and then yeah. at least that way once everyone has their money in crypto we have a huge like kind of like gold how you know governments have a huge gold reserve it's basically digital gold and and bitcoin is beautifully constructed and there is only 21 million coins and it definitely is the future, hopefully, yeah. but who knows? Anything can happen. So 